What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got another review for you today. This is one that uh, I've kind of started messing around with and I think I kind of like it and I don't like that I like it. It's the polecat. Now I've got one halo polecat here. Then I got two cool stamped DX glows that are uh, just really cool. First person that ever uh, had me um, looking at polecats, not really looking at them, the only reason I looked at them is because he threw them a lot. It was my buddy Levi. He loves polecats. And I always was just like, I'm not gonna throw one of those. It feels like a mix between a disc and a Frisbee. Uh, the speed or the numbers are 1300. Zero, zero. Like I said, I've been messing around with these a little bit and I've kind of low-key started kind of liking them a little bit. But I'll tell you this, its I don't think it's going to be a disc that I just like I pick up and throw all the time. It's going to have a use and I'll tell you what that use is later. But before I go further though, click that subscribe button and ding that bell for me so you know when these videos come out. We're over the 1,000 subscriber mark, but let's keep on pushing up and try to get to like 1,500 or 2,000 would be cool. Um, There'll be a giveaway that I'll announce here at some point. I don't know exactly when because i got to get stuff together for it. But, uh, yeah, keep keep your eyes out for a giveaway because I want to do a, I want to do a special video for the 1,000 subscriber mark and then also a special giveaway. So, yeah. Now, let's throw these things. All right. So, with the Polecat, this is going to be a unique one. I think every throw I do in this video is actually going to be fan-gripped. I don't know that I would ever find myself in a position where I would actually power grip this disc. It just feels too weird for it. That's one of the reasons I never really wanted to like a polecat is just the weird feeling like look it looks like you, a lid literally. You took a lid off and then it's just like a skinny old thing. Slightly deep but we're going to be throwing a few hyzers on this one. Low power hyzers out. Start with the halo and then go to the DX gloves. I mean, it's just a really easy, smooth flyer. Now I think the halo is supposed to be a little bit uh, more stable. I've not thrown these much, so we'll see. Pretty much the same. I was expecting that one to go a little bit straighter, so I threw it further left. So now I'll throw this one, try to throw it closer to where I threw the halo. Well, I did. I threw it slightly more left or right and lower. Uh, very controllable at first out of the hand. Just like first thoughts, of first throws. Uh, it just is. Seems like it's going to be a point and shoot type of disc. Not necessarily hyzers, but for like straight shots and annies, I think it's going to be where that one has its special spot. So let's go pick them up, throw some more. We're going to give these uh, pole cats some more fan grips. This is a little bit longer shot. Probably going to throw just a tad bit harder, uh, still on hyzer over top of this uh, playset here. So smooth. I mean, there's not a whole lot else you can say about that. It's just such an effortless, like, flip up to straight if you're throwing on hyzer with any type of power. This is the halo. You could see what that one was doing. I kind of uh, threw that one a little bit harder, uh, thinking it was going to handle it a little bit better. So it still is sensitive to power, but uh, solid, to say the least. Now this is uh, the shot that I'm thinking these polecats are going to 
shine on. Really low power Anheuser fan grip. Um, we're gonna try it. We got a little bit of a funky wind from it for it from this side, but we'll see if we can get it to work. such an easy shot. Halo. If you have trouble controlling like putters on that any shot for like shorter throws, like I can throw, I can throw a putter on that, but um, the difference with the polecat to me is that nose angle is less of a factor than what it is with other putters if you get the nose up on a regular putter usually it's going to dump out as long as you get the angle right with the polecat it feels like it's going to hold that angle so that if i end up bagging a polecat is where it's going to get used is that little backhand ante that doesn't take many much power It'll bug on me all right here i go again i'm going to do another flat throw to try to get some drift to the right. Doesn't take hardly any power to get that shot. Especially considering I'm throwing it fan grip too. What I said to one of my buddies was uh the polecat reminds me of like a berg without the rim weirdness dip thing and more understable they don't have a ton of glide but it is effortless to get that shot out of it you have to throw a berg harder so a little bit more glide than a berg but similar similar results let's try it again maybe a little bit more annie It's just pick what line you want to throw with it other than like hyzer and watch it glide to that spot. It's pretty cool. Go halo. That one I threw harder. Obviously I keep making the same mistake with the halos. I keep throwing it harder thinking it's more stable. It is just by just a fraction, but it doesn't need that much power to fly like the others. So, yeah, it's really solid. All right, I'm gonna do some more annies with these polecats. Something sounds like it's in the woods. I don't know what it is. It's so much easier of a shot to execute with a disc like that, especially if you need one standstill, you can get that same shot. It just is not going to fight out of it. So that's why I think that's going to be a useful disc. Um, if, if you don't bag it for anything else and you've got the space, then potentially might be a good disc for you. It is going to be angle sensitive and torque, uh, like off axis torque resist or not resistant, but, uh, affected so could show you your mistakes if you're a newer player but i suggest you trying it just to see if you like it okay so now that i've showed you all like a little bit longer throws i'm going to show you what i actually think this is going to shine on so imagine i'm stuck like this and i actually have something right here that i can't like forehand i've been there a lot of times and this is a shot that's one that gets stressful to execute with a regular putter. Like maybe close to 100 foot to get up and down for like a par or something. 
to just uh I mean it's really easy yeah. out again. And I mean that put me right in the circle. When a forehand sometimes will push too deep or you just can't throw a forehand. So I can do that. Just like a wrist flip real quick. Alright guys, so that is all I have for this review of the end of a polecat. I got the Halo and the two Color Glow DX plastics. Like I said in the video, um, it's going to be a specific use for me. That little wrist flick, low power anti shot probably is what these would get used for for me. You might find some other uses, um, but that's what I feel like this disc is more useful as. Um, I suggest you give them a try. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. It even isn't really mine. It's just the flight is so easy to control that it makes it hard not to bag something like this if I can make it fit. And um, we'll see if it ends up staying for uh, the long haul. But for now, I am using it just to take the stress off of those little touch ante shots. So, um, you tell me what you think about the Polecat, or if there's other discs you like to use like it. Uh, I know some people like the Sonics and stuff, or uh, the Bite, or uh, other similar discs, I think. So, uh, yeah, worth a try. Cool little disc. And all these are pretty actually cool stamps. Get the black stamp up there. But yeah, that's all I got, guys. Till next time. Peace.